worldwide most countries spend much more money on repairing concrete infrastructure than building new ones. And that's also the case in South Africa. Concrete itself will be durable for many years. But if you put steel on concrete, it's often the steel that is affected, corroding and then causes, causes the damage. The durability of the concrete is a function of the thickness of the cover, the cover depth to the steel, and the quality of the concrete. Well, we didn't always have a good understanding on durability, so in the old days, the design engineers did not necessarily know which type of cement to use and how important cover depth would be and all that. Um, a very common problem is that there is often a lack of quality control on site. Uh, so concrete compaction is often not controlled properly and the cover depth is often very little. We've done lots of investigations into problems and commonly there's a too low cover depth. In most cases the structures can still be repaired. One, but in that respect one of the main issues also is that owners of structures often wait for a very long time until repairs become very expensive. If one would do proper maintenance of structures and go out every five years and test the condition of the structure, one could quite easily implement Repair techniques like surface coatings, for example, that would prevent major damage. And of course, the next issue is to implement um, successful repair strategies. It's a typical example here how the steel was not treated properly and how the concrete wasn't applied properly, and then the repair has failed. And an example how a repair is repeated about once a year and it is never going to be successful until it's done properly. What should be done in a case like this, you can see how the steel is corroding. The steel would have to be undercut, uh, cleaned properly, a protective coating applied to the steel and only then should the repair motor be applied to it. But what happens in many cases that once a concrete has spooled and the steel is exposed, simply a coating is placed straight onto the steel without cleaning off the rust and that will never stop corrosion and once corrosion is ongoing, the repair will fail. Under, under all circumstances. And once the, the steel continues to corrode, you will get say, future delamination and spalling, as you can see here, and then the whole repair will just come off. And the steel actually will corrode faster as if you would have done nothing. So to do a cheap repair will in, in the end be much more expensive than not doing any repair because you actually accelerate the deterioration process.